Hello, my name is Doug Bolnick and I'm with the St. Charles County Department of Public Health. In this video and in our series of videos, we're going to be speaking with Department Director Demetrius Cianci Chapman to answer a few common questions about COVID-19 and the response here in our county. So the Department of Public Health has been monitoring this situation with COVID-19 since it was first discussed back in December. And here we've been activated since March when the metro area had its first positive case. Can you let us know some of the things that the Department of Public Health has been doing to protect the people of St. Charles County? First, we're paying attention to the science and um, all the evidence that is coming out about this disease from all of its um, scientific resources throughout the world um, to see what we can learn and how we can tailor our response with the newest knowledge that's available to us. We're investigating every case that occurs in St. Charles County and trying to isolate the people that have tested positive for the disease so that they can't continue to spread to other people. We're collecting the data about the disease and putting it on our website for everyone to see and putting advice on our website and recommendations for businesses, institutions, and families to keep themselves as safe as possible as they go about their lives. You mentioned the website and that's where we've been recording the information. Can you define what a case is here in St. Charles County? We define a case in St. Charles County as somebody who resides in St. Charles County and meets the CDC's definition of a case. For someone that hasn't been to that website in a while, we just added something about the schools to the website as well. Could you explain that? We have a school-specific dashboard page um, that reports the positivity rates, the number of cases um, for specific districts. We use the zip codes that make up a particular school district so that parents and teachers um, and members of the school community can see exactly what's happening with COVID-19 in their specific district geography. That 14-day trend is important for some of those lagging test results. Test results are coming to us from everybody that is doing testing. The 14-day average tells us where we've been over the recent period of time, and it can be more meaningful than a snapshot in time, which can be very variable from day to day just because of logistical and reporting reasons. Positivity rate is simply the number of positive tests over the total number of tests completed. The reproductive number is a mathematical formula that says how many people are getting infected for each positive case that you have in a community. Ideally, we'd like to see a reproductive number of less than one so that each infected person is infecting less than one other person in the population. Exposures tell us where people are being infected. It's important to know who is getting infected, what age cohorts, and what are the common factors that the newly infected share so that we can target our efforts into protecting that group and preventing spread. 